Okay, I'm back today. I'd like to continue our series of one hop. The virtual machine would be Pink's Palace V1, and I'd like to tell you this virtual machine. Um, I think from my personal view is a bit difficult because it's it will involve the above overflow availability. Which is a bit complicated. Anyway, I'd like to try my best to demonstrate the process. Before we begin to this video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like below. I do appreciate appreciate your help and support. So without further ado, let's just get started. To save time, I have already imported. The virtual machine or target into the virtual box, and I have already configured its network adapter as host only mode. So now then we can go inside the kind Linux. As you can see, I have already identified the IP address of the virtual machine as two hundred and fifty two, and then I did the map scanning. With options like a sync scan, virtual scan, default script scan, and the very important option here is comprehensive scan. Otherwise, you cannot recognize some not so common port number. As you can see from the map scanning results, the three open port. The first one is eighty eighty, and the next one is three one three three seven. Uh, both ports are running HTTP service, but、uh, I think for the second one, it's running some sort of the HTTP proxy. We need to keep this into our into our mind as we as we move forward. And the last one is six four three six, which is running S S H service. And also the actual version information, as we know, this version doesn't have any vulnerability. So I think now we need to do some emulation for the HTTP surface. The first one is 8080. Now let's open up our browser and、uh, let's put the IP address of the target. And as you can see, the 403 a、uh, status forbidden. Okay, I'd like to tell you. We cannot、um, get out any useful in, useful information for the both for the eighty eighty port or three one three three seven. So also we we can use like a GoBuster, like a tool,、uh, some sort of a tools to make direct emulation. But I can tell you, we cannot find anything useful from that. So do you remember that I mentioned earlier? Maybe. We cannot、um, access the 8080 directly. We need to access this 8080 port number via proxy. The this proxy, the HTTP proxy, squid proxy. So now we can configure our proxy、uh, inside the foxy foxy proxy、uh, the plugins, and we can go to the options. We can add the new proxy. We can name it to pink, and the IP address is, and the port number is this one. And let's save it. So now we can access. Of course, this time we can use the local host to access. But、uh, yeah, we need to turn on to the pinky, and then refresh the page. As you can see, we can access、uh, this、uh, the web application now. Then what can we do? We need to do some direct emulation. Use like of course Nikto, but Nikto with Nikto we cannot find the you use this information. I mean the useful information. To save time, I will not do that now. I like to use the GoBuster. And the port number, 
but uh, we need to specify a proxy. Maybe we can and then the word list. I'd like to use my first favorite word list, the buster directory and the option. Let's hit enter. Okay, we let it uh, run, and uh, when it's done, I will come back. Yeah, I'm back. As you can see, the GoBuster has yeah. This is the the entire command for this GoBuster. We need to specify the proxy, and uh, of course, other options. Is very usual ones, so I think we have already identified this directory. We can make a copy because it's a bit long, bit long. Sorry, and now we can access this directory, and I think this is the the main logging, and we can try to see whether this logging allow. The or exists the weak credentials like the mean, the mean, and locking, and also you can try some locking bypass techniques. The mean locking, but the field. Yeah, I, I you know when I did this virtual machine the first time, I tried so a、uh, different locking bypass techniques. But all failed. Sorry about that. So what can we do next? Maybe we need to use the SQL map two to see whether there is SQL injection vulnerability. So how to do that? We can open the inspect two and go to the network, and so that by this way we can intercept the request. All right, as you can see here, and the. And this is the URL, right? We can make a copy. I'd like to cancel the directory immersion and then use the not、uh, WordPress game, rather SQL map. And we can put the URL. And we need to configure. The post data. We can make a copy, and then we can put in here. And now, but we need to specify a proxy. Yeah, proxy should be and the num port number, and then. The level we can set to level to three. Let's hit enter. As because I have already done uh, the the SQL map、um, the 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 process, so the the these two will go through this process again.、Uh, it will read the the cached content, but anyway, as you can see. The this this login page has SQL injection vulnerability and tell us which tell us the backend、uh, database is MySQL. So what can we do? We can emulate the databases. Yeah, there are two databases, and we are just、uh, interested in the second one. And we can specify the database, and we can. Copy the database name, and we want to emulate tables. Yeah, there are two tables, and then again, we can specify we are just、uh, interested in users table, and we want to know how many columns for this table. Let's hit enter.
Yeah, three. Yeah, as you as you see,、uh, this process is very quick because, you know, I have already done、uh, this virtual machine several minutes ago, so it's cached on this uh on this machine. Okay, if you do it, you you will need a、uh, more time. Okay, you need a long time, and then we can specify that we just、uh, interest in user and the password and the dump. Right? No, we do not need, and、uh, we do not crack. We want to. Yeah, we got the username and the password. Of course, this password is MD5. We can use the identifier to identify the algorithm. We can make a copy. Yeah, this is MD5. So what I can do, you, I, I, when I did this virtual machine the, the first time, I tried to use the John the Leaper to crack, but、uh, failed. So I use the hash cat to to do this. And、uh, the so I make a copy of this encrypted password. And the word list lock you. Okay. Yeah, I, because I have already done before, so use the show to display. The show. Yeah, this is the password. So now we can log in to the target. And the pink manage. And、uh, the pod number. Yes. Put the password for this user. Yeah, I think we cannot crack the password for the second user. And、uh, and then we need to do some local emulation. For example, we can navigate to home directory,、uh, but nothing there. And also, we cannot、uh, navigate into the second user permission denied. And then we can navigate to var directory, and then we can navigate to HTML di directory and little cat and、uh, nothing. Oh yeah, there is very special directory. We can navigate into this one. And we can cut the note txt.、I'll、get knocked out of my server. I put this i the private key here. Okay, so we can cut. I think、uh, although this is the private key, but I think this is encoded in base sixty four, right? And we can decode this message. Yeah, we got the private key, and then we can make a copy, and we can create the private key, and paste it in here. And we need to change privilege settings for this. A、uh, private key file, and then we can log in. And the pinky. Oh, sorry. We need to specify the private key, pinky. Yeah, as you can see, we have already logged in to the target via SSH with the user pinky. And we can cut the node directory, and nothing there. And then we can, you know, here, the、uh, the main helper has SUID bit. It means that、uh, we can elevate our privilege by run this command. We can run, but nothing returned. But if we put some、uh, information like、um, JSON. 
Yeah, so it will print or return what we input. So maybe、uh, this file or this command has a buffer a, a fl- buffer overflow vulnerability. So how do we know that、uh, vulnerability? Okay, we can use the、uh, the Python Python to generate. Like one、uh, hundred characters. Yes, segmentation fault. So overflow, buffer overflow. So we can reduce like fifty.、Uh, it's okay, and seventy.、Uh, it's okay. So we can try. This one, yeah, bus error. So I think this point we can、uh, do the. We can replace the, or we can manipulate the return address, and then get the get the overflow vulnerability or exploitation. So how do we? We can use the GDB debugger. To help us to make、uh, analysis, as we can info the f- the function. Yeah, there's some functions like spawn. Spawn will spawn a new process, and we can set the main, and we can run. Okay, and、um, and we can jump to jump to spawn. Jump spawn. Yeah, as you can see, jump means we can we can directly jump into a specific function. As you can see, we got the、uh, got the shell, for example, like ID. So I think maybe we can utilize this point to to elevate our privilege. It means that we can make or manipulate the buffer of a low and.、Um, Uh, override the the return address or、uh, the, the memory address of the ERP. So how do we know that、uh, we can use the this the same the same and、uh, spawn this. Spawn. Maybe I mistype. I'm not sure. So what happened? Or、oh, I think、uh, this time not correct. Interesting. Oh, sorry. This is now we are inside the inside the the shell, so cannot recognize the DSS. DSS spawn. Maybe we can run、uh, this debugger again. We can set the main and run and DSS spawn. Yeah, we got the memory address. So we can make a copy of this address. I already done that before, and、uh, here, you know, when we try to、uh, make a shell code, we need to reverse this address like here. Okay, yeah, this reverse order. So we can make a copy. No, we can make a copy, and we can quit here. And then we can run Python print seventy two. Yeah, we know the the location and、uh, address. 
yeah, as you can see, we have already become the loot user and we can get the loot flag here. Okay, so that's all I'd like to go through uh, this virtual machine, which is Pink's Palace uh, version 1, V1. So I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.